Welcome, welcome to the Rick Helps Real Estate Show. So an article was shared with me today that there are three neighborhoods that made the list on near the top of the most desirable neighborhoods to live in the country. And it's based on Zillow searches and it's compiled by an outfit called housefresh.com. And the three areas that we have, one of them is Arcadia, also known as Camelback East. And that resides right about down here, Camelback East, which is north east of the airport and west of Scottsdale. The other area that we have is North Mountain Park, which is right here. That's very popular. The third one is up here by Deer Valley. And so that's up in this neck of the woods where the I-17 and 101 converge, probably because Taiwanese chip plant is going in right there. So there's some pretty interesting developments about who's searching for what and they're looking every day. Now, other thing that came out that really surprised me, kind of surprised me, but didn't really surprise me, and that is the suburb that has the most listings looked at from people that don't live here is Sun Lakes, Arizona, south of Chandler, right down here. It says that Sun Lakes, Arizona has the most interest outside of Phoenix. In Scottsdale, the most viewed neighborhood is D.C. Ranch. D.C. Ranch is north of downtown Scottsdale. This is followed by Seville in Gilbert, Sunland Village in Mesa, and Arrowhead Ranch in Glendale. All five of these neighborhoods have something in common. They all come with golf course and community club attached. Four of the neighborhoods are considered large retirement communities. Now, remember, those are the ones that are most popular from people that don't live here. Pretty much over 55 communities. They also analyze data from Zillow Home Value Index for the neighborhoods. See where home prices have changed in most in the last year. Four of the five neighborhoods with the largest increase in home prices are in wealthy areas of Scottsdale. Surprise, surprise, with home values over $1 million. Only Fiesta Village in Mesa stands out with houses going for $250,000, a 9% increase since last year. Those are very small homes in an over 55 community in Mesa. Neighborhoods with the largest price drops are found in the East Valley. That's interesting. All five have home prices with what realtors call the sweet spot of $370,000 to $500,000. Home prices in these neighborhoods have fallen a range from 2% to 5% in the past year. Now, let me clear that up just a little bit because articles like this are focusing on what home values had last year. And as you know, October, November, December, we started going down like a rocket ship. We went down about 17% from the peak in May. That's not the case now. Right now, things are going up, and uh, we're still seeing, if I look at this chart here, months of supply is going down. So we are down to less than two months of supply. So this market, while I won't call it brisk, I'm going to call it very active. The other thing to watch for now, too, is if you're a seller, is we're seeing data here that says that seller paid concessions are coming down. Now, keep in mind, it's April now, so these contracts were written in February and March and then recorded, and then we can see the data. Seller paid concessions are starting to shrink now. In fact, the question by one of our subscribers yesterday is, why would sellers want to contribute towards buying down interest rates right now? And I think the short answer for the month of April is, I don't think they have to. Interest rates are in the low sixes. Uh, some of them are in the fives. So I don't think if you're selling that you need to contribute towards seller closing costs anywhere near like you needed to in November and December. So keep that in mind because most of the sellers right now are not really aware that in April now, real estate values are holding steady and coming up and uh, the buying activity is brisk enough given the low number of listings that we have that there's no reason for you to offer a credit to buy down the interest rate or even pay their closing costs. We're seeing less and less of that as time goes on. So that's what's going on in the Phoenix area. I hope that helps. If you have any questions, shoot me an email at rick 
at rickhelps.com and take a look at the link below. I have a newsletter that comes out every Monday morning. Take care. Have a great day.